going on everyone? Today I actually got my Lodge 10 inch carbon steel skillet. I was very excited for this purchase as well. I did, it is, today is April 17th and I ordered it directly from the Lodge website and I ordered it on April 2nd. So due to everything that's been going on with the COVID-19, it did take a while for it to get here, but it was well worth the wait. So I just wanted to share this opening of the carbon steel skillet to see what's what's on the inside so let's dive right in so the one i went with is the 10 and a half inch skillet runs about 35 dollars i think close to 39 after tax and has that lodge imprint right here as well as the lodge on the back these are recommended to season so usually just use vegetable oil or olive oil but Honestly, whatever you have works. The reason why I went with a 10 inch skillet versus a 12 or eight inch, which are also options, is just because this 10 inch skillet fits a lot better on my stove. And as far as cooking purposes go, it's just me and my wife. So to make relatively good sized dinners for both of us, it's, it's a pretty good size with enough to be able to feed us and maybe have leftovers. I also have a 12 inch cast iron skillet. However, when I use that one on the stove top, it is a little bit bigger than my stove. So the heat distribution is completely uneven. So I prefer that one for maybe camping or just outdoor grilling. But for indoor inside, the 10 inch skillet is perfect size. You can also go with the eight inch to maybe saute some things or cook some eggs or something like that. But this 10 inch size is, is really good size for myself. So, you know, you can kind of decide what you what works best for you. But like I said, this is the, the perfect size for myself. Now I opened up the little pamphlet information. Has a little bit of information on Lodge. They've been around for a hundred years since 1896. And down below just has a little bit of information on the features of the actual skillet. Heavy duty 12 gauge carbon steel with steel riveted handles, seasoned for natural easy release finish that improves with use, the right tool to sear, saute, grill, roast or fry, easy hand wash, dry promptly, rub with cooking oil, and visit their lodge website for more information. Now because I had to wait so long for me to get my carbon steel skillet, I was looking at it a little, little bit more closely and I did notice this little spot right here. Let me try and focus the camera. It didn't look right to me, so I contacted Lodge and here's what they had to say. When I first discovered that little blotch on the skillet, it was a Friday and I immediately emailed Lodge through their Lodge website. And just being an anxious person, I wanted a response right away, so I left it alone over the weekend come Monday, still haven't heard a response. And so what I did was I just gave them the call on their 800 number, which is again on their Lodge website. And their uh, customer service associate assisted me. She was very helpful, very kind. And she sent me an email. The email that the customer associate sent me says, thank you for reaching out to us. I'm happy to take a look at your 10 inch carbon steel skillet. Please reply with a picture. At Lodge, cookware is seasoned with 100% soybean oil baked onto the surface at a high temperature. During this process, the cookware hangs from a rack as it is moved from the seasoning chamber to the oven. That means some new pieces may experience a bubble on the cookware, visibly known as the drip, where the oil hasn't fully adhered to the cookware. The bubble can chip away and reveal a light brown color. It is perfectly safe as this is just the initial layers of seasoning. It will disappear with regular use and care. As soon as I received that email, I immediately responded with a picture and it's been a day or so and I still haven't heard a response from Lodge, which that's okay, I'm, I'm not really worried about it, but just based on the email and the information that's been provided, it sounds like it's, it's an okay thing to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I haven't used it just in the case I have to send it back and they send me a new one, but I think it's it's gonna be okay. I just wanted to mention that mostly because I tried to do a little research on just online, on random websites, on Lodge, and I could find very minimal information on this topic. And Lodge does have a little bit of information on their website, which I'll go ahead and post a link of Lodge down below. 
But like I said, just wanted to mention, show everybody in case this is something that you guys are experiencing with your cast iron or any Lodge products. Overall, I am very excited to use this brand new skillet. I just wanted to share my unboxing experience as well as that little defect that came with the skillet in case any of you run into the same issue. As I mentioned before, this is the third piece to my Lodge cookware. So I'll be doing some more videos on my other two skillets that I have, but for this one, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.